Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I have another fragrance review and I feel like I haven't done one in quite a while so um, I was really inspired to do this one because I have been using this fragrance a lot and I really wanted to share it with you. So this fragrance is one that I've been wearing every single day and I feel like it's one that is a very classic fragrance that if you have it in your collection, you can wear it on almost any occasion. And the fragrance that I have is by Elisa Bleu Parfum. And you may have noticed that I have already put this fragrance in one of my hauls. And the bottle I have is a 30 ml. And as you can see, there is a lot of fragrance still left in this bottle. And the reason for that is you really don't need a lot of this fragrance. It is a very strong, bold, beautiful, floral, oriental floral fragrance. So this fragrance, you really don't need to spray a lot. I think two or three sprays is going to last you the whole day. I was actually reading online a little bit about this fragrance and the creators of this fragrance said that it's a voluptuous and radiant fragrance that is addictive and when i saw the word addictive i thought yes that is so true about this fragrance um, it's one that once you spray it you just find yourself wanting to smell it and because it is so lingering on your clothes um, it just makes you want to smell it even more so what i love about this fragrance for me it's that perfect summer summer scent and it reminds me of being on the mediterranean and the sea you go out during the day and you're wearing a beautiful floral dress and then you apply some of this fragrance and you're really going to your whole look will be put together <laughs> so what i like about it as well is although it is a floral fragrance or oriental floral fragrance it is quite bold and um, it is captivating so i definitely think that this one is a head turner it's very lingering so if you spray it people are going to turn around and kind of follow your trail. <laughs> a very feminine, very womanly fragrance um, that is, I think, suitable from anyone 21 years of age and above. But of course, you can wear this fragrance if you like it. It's just personal preference. So onto the notes of this fragrance. And as soon as you smell it, and it's quite strong, I don't even need to spray it. I can really smell it from when I sprayed it this morning. So when you spray this fragrance, the first thing you smell, the first thing I smell is a heavy dose of orange blossom and orange blossom is a, be a beautiful kind of intoxicating white floral. So it has that beautiful note straight away. There is jasmine in the middle note and um, jasmine again is a nice beautiful kind of creamy floral note. And for the base there is modern patchouli, a honey rose and then there's also some cedar. So there is that kind of oriental, um, there is some oriental base notes in this fragrance which makes this fragrance really creamy, really floral but then there is that oriental base as well which I think that makes it a bit more modern and a bit more kind of bold. So I would say that this is a very classy, very classic fragrance for a woman who wants her fragrance to smell very feminine, but wants there to be quite a bold and lingering trail at the same time. Um, I definitely think that you could wear this fragrance um, for many different occasions. And I think it just depends on how much you spray it. So if you're going out in the evening, um, you would spray a little bit more, but if you're during the day, I even think one or two sprays is definitely enough. And that's what I do. I wear about one or two sprays of this fragrance during the day and in the evening, I tend to wear more. So I definitely love this fragrance and I have been wearing it every single day. And it's actually the second Elisa fragrance that I've tried. I also have Girl of Now, and that's one of my favorite gourmand fragrances. So. I have a review on that one as well. I'll leave that link down below if you would like to check that out. Um, okay guys, so that is the end of this little mini review. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've tried this fragrance and if you like it. And also if you ever have any suggestions of any fragrances that I should try, leave me a comment down below and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.